Hi everyone, my name is Nick Pavlov and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to circle back to one of my earlier videos about turning files into tables in a lake house. I briefly talked about how you can quickly upload CSV files to a file section of a lake house and then right click on the selected file and turn it into a table. However, as of today, and I'm recording this video in early December 2023, there's one important limitation that can hold you back from turning CSV files into tables. Let's go to my screen and take a look. So this particular bug happens if you have a CSV file and in that CSV file you have spaces and column names. Let me show you what I mean. So in this lake house here in the files section, I have two identical tables. One of them is called sales and one of them is called sales spaces and column names. Let's look at the sales file here. This is a fact table from the AdventureWorks dataset. And here we can see that in my column names, I have the camel case spelling. In other words, I don't have spaces in between my words and instead each separate word is capitalized. So I have sales, order, number, and the letter O and N are capital. So I can read that better, right? Now let's take a look at the other file. And this is the exact same file, right? It's actually a duplicate. And here, let me actually open that Excel file here. And here we can see that in column names, we have spaces, right? So I have sales space order name. I have product space key, etc. So what's going to happen is that if you have columns with spaces, then Microsoft Fabric, as of today, will not be able to transform that file into a table. Let me show you what I mean. This is my old file, right, with the camel case. So if you have that kind of file, it can be either the camel keys, right, or it can have underscore. So if you have a uh, region underscore name, that's also one word. Fabric sees that as one word. If I have that kind of file, CSV file, what I can do, I can right click and then I can do load to tables and I can create a new table. This is going to be called sales and I'm going to load this. And so Microsoft Fabric is going to successfully turn this file into a table and this table will appear in my tables list. All right, sad and done. And let me refresh my lake house view. After I refresh it, it actually appeared in here. Here's my table and pay attention to column names. They all have camel case, right? Order date, I have no spaces. Now, let me go back to the file section and let me right click to this other sales table that have spaces and column names. And I'm going to load to table and I'm going to try the same thing. And this is not going to work. You see, it says load table failed. And if I look at the details, this is what you're going to get. No space characters are allowed. And here I have error code, which says invalid column names. So in other words, Microsoft Fabric is not able to transform a file which has column names with spaces. So what can we do? You can go back to your Excel file, right? And then manually try to put this into, into the right formatting, right? You can do this or you can do underscore, but of course it's not a good idea, right? It's manual. You can have a large file and have many columns and you, you do not want to do that manually. And so that's why I'm going to show you a much better option. And this workaround involves the creation of a data flow and turning that file with column names into a table using a data flow. Let's do that. Let me close this one here and then click get data and choose new data flow gen two. This will deploy a data flow, which is essentially a power query in the browser. And let me quickly rename this data flow to bring sales table with spaces. The idea is to grab that file, which is sitting in the file section of my lake house and clean that up, transform it, and then put it into the table section of my, of the same lake house. Let's do that. I'll go to get data. And then here I will select lake house. I'll go to more. And I will select not Excel file, right? Not CSV, but actually I will select a lake house. The lake house was called Demo Adventure Works right here. I already have a connection established. So that is going to open my lake house. 
Here, I'm going to go to a file section, and then I'm going to select that CSV file, which is called sales spaces and column names right here. I'll select this file, and then I will create a data flow. All right, so here's my file, right? All of my columns are here. I don't need to change anything here because it's a clean data set. So I don't even need to change the column names, right? So what I can do now then before clicking publish, I will click add data destination tab right here. So here I'll be selecting where I want to put this file when it turns into a table and it's going to be a lake house. And I will choose one of my lake houses, right? I'll click next. And then I will show where my, which of my lake houses that is. Um, that is going to be, that's called Demo Adventure Works. After selecting that, I'll click Next. And here I can indicate the name of my table. I'll remove CSV. And then I will click Next. And under the column mapping section, you have a message which says you have column names with unsupported characters, so with spaces. And it will tell you, right, which columns are have errors and should be fixed. So pretty much in this table, all of them accept quantity and cost because they only have one word. So you can have as many columns with spaces here. It doesn't matter. Power Query is going to automatically fix it. All you need to do is click Fix It. And that's going to fix it. And this is the new name in the destination. So your column names in your table will now have underscores instead of spaces. So Power Query is going to do that automatically. You don't have to do that manually. You can just go here, create a data flow, go to the mapping section and quickly fix it with one button. So after that, I'll go to save settings. And now I will make sure that my destination is correct. It is going to my lake house and it's going to be called a table, right? So then I will just click publish. My data flow will be deployed. So what I can do, I can go back to my lake house. And after a data flow is completed, I will see my new table in here. The data flow is now completed. Let's do refresh. Okay, it took some time for some reason, but here's the table. Sales with spaces and column names, right? That's the name of my table. And as you can see, it has underscores everywhere instead of spaces. But otherwise, it's exactly the same table as the sales. So this is an easy way to turn a CSV file into a table inside the lake house. In cases when you have spaces and column names and the standard right-clicking and turning to a table feature is not working, you will have to create a data flow. Now, keep in mind that Fabric is still very new, right? And I'm sure the product team is aware of this little bug. And so at some point in the future, they will fix this issue. Until then, however, please use the workaround that I showed you. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. More videos will be coming up and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. More videos will be coming up and I will talk to you later. Have a good one.